Hey guys, let's uh, start with the basics of GMath, which is adding in an expression or a mathematical equation into your Google document. Okay, so this is really cool. Check it out. So go to your add-ons after you've installed GMath. Go to GMath. You have some options here, but we're going to do create math expressions. Boom, that's going to pop open a sidebar over to the right-hand side. Now you have the speech to math uh, option here which you can use which we have another video which will explain that part but down here in the latex is where you're going to be entering in your expression or equation so let's say that you wanted to do like four times two so I would type in four and then if you scroll down here look down here we have pre-built mathematical expressions so you don't have to be a genius in latex okay so that's really cool that John did that so we have this time symbol right here. Bam, I'm going to put that in there and that puts in the latex code for that. Eventually after time, of course, you're going to remember and memorize these latex codes for the ones that you use the most. And then you want to use these pre-built features. So I did four times two. I look in the preview. Bam, that's exactly what I want. I'm going to insert that. And then when I look over here, it looks like I got four times two. Awesome. So let's do another more difficult one. I'm going to delete out my latex code in here. Let's look at some pre-built functions. Uh, let's say I wanted to do, uh, let's do something super hard here. Let's, how about the, what is this, the quadratic formula? And then I want to plop in a fraction inside of this equation. So I'm going to put a fraction here. And let's put my numbers. So 8 and then let's say 13. And then we can have B just be a regular number here and also the C. Now let's check out our latex preview. So instead of you having to know all the latex syntax uh, with these pre-built functions, you can quickly build the complicated functions that you need. So let's insert that into our document. And bam, there it is. So that's the basics of adding uh, equations and expressions using GMath.